Hello, my name is Hirsch, and welcome to the Hirsch Hit Show. Well, a little bit about it, and you're gonna laugh, you're gonna cry, you'll probably cuss at me, but that's all right. I just want to bring to you the realization of what's really going on in this world that a lot of people are afraid to speak on. Enjoy. Welcome to the Her Shit Show. This is the very first recording that we are going to do. And just to give you a little bit up front, we are actually going to be pre-recording at least four episodes each session that we do. So if you see me in my same shirt, don't judge. It'll be all right. But every now and again, we'll go live. I will go live. So to be able to get your feedback automatically. But for the very first show, I told you, reality check. I made a post on my own personal page uh, a few days back, but I wanted to bring it to you. I wanted to bring a little bit of awareness to addiction. That's right, addiction. Because some of y'all need to change. Some of y'all really need to change. You need to step back, look at your environment, and want to get out of that environment, want to stop numbing the pain or attempting to numb the pain and get help. There's free help. No matter where you are in your state, there is some type of clinic or therapy, uh, not just your friends, because nine times out of 10, your friends are properly assisting you in being able to get your next bump, get your next drink, get your next shot, whatever you want to call it. So I told you I wasn't going to have any guests unless I personally invited them. So for today's show, I actually invited somebody that is very near and dear to my heart. She was 23 years old. She would have been 24 this year. Unfortunately, the choice of heroin, methamphetamine, pills, or whatever else, I don't know the full background, but I know that my niece, yes, my niece, I said I wasn't going to say no name, so I'm not. But those that know me know who she is and know that on February 20th, she was over at some friend's house, supposed friends, and uh, she overdosed. Now these so-called friends called 911 and left her, left her for dead from the story that I've been told she was brain dead by the time the EMS got there. Now in Georgia and a lot of other states, you can call 911. They actually advise you to call 911, even if you're geeked up, drunk, overdose, whatever, and they won't raid your home. They won't arrest anybody on scene. They just want to be able to save a life that may have overdosed or may have alcohol poisoning. So these so-called friends called 911 and left her, left her for dead. My mother and the rest of the family had to make a decision. She was on life support, 23 years old. Say hello to her because this could be you. You could be next. So I'm gonna need for you to wake up. Wake the fuck up, change your lifestyle, get away from those people that are feeding you the BS and just want to change, want to have a better tomorrow. You might keep asking yourself, why does this keep happening to me? Why does the X, Y, Z, blah, 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 blah. Got it. Everybody goes through things, but that don't mean that you have to try to numb it. And let me tell you something else. Heron, heron actually has a side effect of depression, of psychopathic ideations, homicidal ideations, suicidal ideations. So if you think you're actually numbing the pain of reality, you're actually welcoming it and multiplying it. You're not doing yourself no justice by putting that shit in your arm. So get on that little phone, because nine times out of 10, even drug heads, alcoholics, whoever, they got a phone and it's got Google on it. Step by somebody's house and use their Wi-Fi if you need to. Go to McDonald's, use their Wi-Fi if you need to. I don't give a damn. But you need to research a location. You need to be able to get help. But first and foremost, you got to want it. You have to want to truly change and have a better tomorrow. If not for yourself, for your children, if you have children. She had children. 
And guess who has to explain that? Their caretaker, their guardian that they are safely with. A woman that is going to raise them with love and a desire to be better when they get older, to break the chain of addiction that happens to be in that side of the family, unfortunately. Yes, like my niece, you may have lost a parent at a very young age due to drug addiction. You may have lost somebody real dear to you. You may have lost your job. You feel like everything ain't going right in your life, X, Y, Z. Drugs is not it. That's not your escape. So I need for you to wake up. And I need for you to get right for yourself. Bump everybody else around you. If they want to keep going and digging that hole, that's on them. And I'm not talking about just drug addicts. I'm also talking about every single person that feels like they have to wake up and take a sip, take a tote, take a shot, take a pill, take something before they can even get their day started because they're covering up something within themselves that they need to face. They need to face that reality because that short-term addiction can turn into something long and can ultimately take your life. And if you so choose that it's not going to be you, it's not going to happen to you, I'm just having fun, blah, 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 whatever excuse you're coming up with, do us all a favor. How about you go ahead and stack at least 1500 to the side for a cremation. That's just the basic package. Or stack that five, $5,000 and stash that to the side for your funeral because that's just a basic package. That doesn't include your plot. That don't include transportation. That don't include the grievance of your family in that void that we have to feel after you die. And that's what's real. So I advise you to wake the fuck up, to want to do better for yourself, for your children, and for your family. But you have to want to get better. You have to want to start over. Some people claim they don't have anybody. Some people claim, oh, well, these are the ones that's putting a roof over my head, or these are the ones that's, you know, been by my side through X, Y, Z, you know what? They're not supporting you. They might be supporting your habit, but they're not supporting you. They're not giving you the true love and, 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 and confrontation that you need for the reality of what's going on in your world. They only around you. Yeah, they might love you. Say, mommy, and I blame a lot of the parents too, because a lot of the parents, instead of supporting your children, you're enabling them. Every time they call you and ask you for some money, every time they call and say they need X, Y, Z, you're quick to bail them out. Why? Yeah, that's your child. But if you truly love them, you're gonna get them the help that they need. And to be quite frank, sometimes you just gotta cut people off and let them learn for themselves until they actually want the help. Is it fair? No. Am I perfect? No. I used to be a drinker. I ain't even gonna lie, I can tell you from experience. I did have to wake up. I was that one in college going to class with some Runkle Mints in my water bottle that smelled like scope. That was me. Anybody that knows me will tell you I was the one waking everybody up early in the morning to go to Waffle House or whatnot after a long night of drinking, especially during my military career. But one day I woke up and said, not enough. I can't do this no more. And my, do I still drink? Maybe every now and again. And I'm not saying you can't. But if you look around you and you got small children running around and you're constantly having parties, barbecues, alcohol, drink, the way we grew up, because that's pretty much how my generation grew up. You can't be mad at your child if they turn out the same exact way. You have to break the cycle. At, at the end of the day, it is solely up to you how you want your children raised, what type of environment you want to stay in. Because if you got to rob, steal, and kill just to get your next high, baby, you already got your pinky toe in the grave. 
you might as well go ahead and start planning your own damn funeral because that's the route that it's going. This is the Her Shit Show. Stay tuned for more reality checks. Have a blessed day. to log on to youtube.com and subscribe to the her shit show at t-h-e-h-e-r-s-h-y-t-s-h-o-w brought to you by eight robinsons tv and yellow tub creative